Well, hey friends, it is the new moon in Cancer and we have Venus going retrograde. So we're going to do a collective reading and see what is going on. We're going to ask about your intentions, your fears, what else? How to nurture your intention uh, with Pluto in opposition both to the Cancerian new moon and also Venus, which will be going in retrograde. We will ask what needs transformation. And finally, we'll ask about what that Venus retrograde is calling us towards. Um, we'll put it all together and see what we can see. Okay, come along. This will be fun. We're going to start with an oracle card here. We'll get a sense of the overall concerns that we may have here. We need direction. So this um, piling of stones, that's a very grounding, earthy energy under birds, which lift us in our minds. And our, so we, we could feel perhaps a tension here between security and aspiration. Okay, what's going on underneath that? So we need direction. And beautiful, very Cancerian en energy underneath that is energy of healing, the healer. It makes me think um, a little bit of a star card, uh, which is about healing. But there's other cards too, like the Four of Swords, kind of go alone in your little Cancer shell um, to heal here. We will continue to look into the, this need for direction and perhaps a role of healer. We're letting somebody heal you. You can see the snake is um, see, broken there and healing. Looks like you lost your tail. <laughs> kind of looks like another little snake biting you, your tail. Direction. I kind of want to look up what this direction's about in this here. Kind of. I do. I'm going to do it. All right. Direction. There are signs all around guiding you in the right direction. Let's go ahead and look up healer. Where is it? It's right here. Healer. Begin the process of repairing something that has been hurt, sick, or not functioning at its best. Healing can leave us changed. The scars remind us of our strength and courage. Yes, so here is your scar. It's a reminder of, what, of your history, um, of what you've been through, what you've healed. With a Venus retrograde going on with that nurturing energy of cancer, this makes sense to me that we are revisiting, repairing, healing. There's also Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto in retrograde at the moment. And then, yeah, so a little direction. So look for signs here. Let's ask some cards of the tarot. Okay, so the first thing we are going to ask is about your intention or your hope in some way. Like new moon, we can think about it becoming full. In six months' time, it'll be a full moon in Cancer. Um, and we can think about in that time, where do you want to be? What's your intention for the six months or in the more immediate? So let's see here. Then we'll ask some other questions about that. Looking for signs and the scar as a sign that reminds you of what you came through and what you have healed. That's what we have overarching. So we have a beautiful intention here of the King of Pentacles. This is from the Guardian of the Night Tarot. King of Pentacles is about abundance. It's about earth. It's a Taurus energy. Very much about being steadfast. Um, so this is your intention is to remain steadfast. Um, yeah, some kind of commitment to the earthy here. That makes sense to me. 
and to your own and the, with venus you uh, often will maybe think of your wealth of money of things like that so so there is something here about you wanting to be responsible financially um yeah and there's just a lot of beautiful imagery here we've got cherry blossoms these lotus flowers that reference the ace of cups and this little um bird that makes me think of the four of wands there's something here about you kind of completing an earthly vision and that's your intention here that for this six these six months okay what are your fears as you pursue this the fear is the fool so the fool is the leaper of faith and you're afraid to do it and this is actually a quality of cancerian folks a little bit sometimes difficulty of deciding um it's funny because cancer is a cardinal energy but what i often see is cancer a little bit stalled out um and i was just listening to an astrologer who was kind of emphasizing that but the fool is afraid of being a fool so if you, this is your fear the fool leaps in faith and you just can't know right you cannot know so you're, there's a feeling of starting out on a new adventure. It's coming up in other collectives, like when I'm doing the astrological reports. Um, I love this fool. It's like this wolf wants to hang with this bunny uh, and is willing to kind of go out on the ice, take a risk here. That's an energy also of what's happening with the Venus retrograde. So there's, this is about love. It's about um, worth, self-worth. And, and it's also in, um, in a trine to the North Node, which is going into Aries, which is a, a card of beginning. So Fool is very much about a new beginning. The King of Pentacles, your intention is actually not to begin something new, but to, to finish, to establish, and, and to create security. So you're afraid of going out on the ice, taking a risk. And yet there is a lot of this Pluto revolution energy of, um, of a new beginning here happening out there collectively. We'll find out more. Okay, so how to nurture your intention of bringing in, in love, bringing in abundance, um, being responsible, showing up for your commitments. How do you nurture this? The Queen of Cups. Dive deep into your emotions. Very Cancerian energy. Feel it all and express what you feel. That is, the Queen of Cups is good at knowing and talking about her feelings. So this is how you nurture this intention here over the next six months. Dive deep into your emotions. Don't be afraid to go there. I think it's interesting how... The wolf is walking on the surface because the water is iced over, whereas the orca is diving deep you know, through the surface. And we can see the little Cancerian crab there kind of going up towards the surface too. There's your nautilus, a whole school of fish. It's the full moon. Okay, now we have Pluto demanding us to revolutionize, to not be afraid of the leap of faith. What is Pluto asking us? What needs transformation? There is a five of swords. Your mind causes you to do harm to yourself and others. You can see here all these trees have been cut down in the name of civilization. And yet here comes this young, still spotted buck um, eating there amongst the ruins of this forest, right? When you come into a five of swords, and this is definitely needs to be transformed. It, it speaks to a, an extractive relationship with nature. Um, the swords being your mind are, are perhaps things that come in your mind, cause you to act, cause you to cut, um, Cancerian energy can be quite abandoning for the rest of us who get um, cut. Um, 
And, the, and it's not out of cruelty, it's out of protection. Um, the cancer goes into their crab shell and um, until they're ready to come out. And um, so that's a little bit of this swords energy that we have um, a mind that might draw us towards that lower quality of cancer where they fearfully or, or angrily retreat from and abandon and cut. And um, it's weirdly coming in like a kind of a queen of swords energy for me, like, and the queen of swords has clarity, right? Like she has access to the truth. She knows why she makes that cut. Um, a five of swords will be one where you regret because you hurt people um, to win. That's what the five of swords is about. Uh, I like this five of swords because there's like been a conquest and yet nature is going on um, with the city in the background. So there is that a kind of positive side that you can come out on with the Five of Swords. This is what Pluto demands that we transform. So we, we must transform the way we're thinking about things and the way we're, we're behaving in harmful ways. Um, and we know this because it's bugging us. It's keeping us up at night. It's causing us um, discomfort. Five of Swords, all fives, they're not comfortable. Now, so how do we answer the call of this Cancer New Moon? Kind of interesting. This is the Three of Swords. You see the chains? This is, swords are those thorns coming through this heart. Um, so if we have Venus in retrograde, which is what I pulled this card for, she looks back at relationships. Often you'll have exes come into your life, um, people that broke your heart, um, or you may go back into somebody else's life, right? You may be visiting your exes and, uh, and revisiting this um, broken heart. So, so we have a call. The call is to examine your broken heart. The chains are about the way that your mind will obsessively continue to do this until you get free. All right, so you're called here to definitely take up the challenge of Pluto and address your mind. And um, yes, in a Venus retrograde, you get to go back and check in with unfinished business that you have with people. Hmm. So I'm, I'm going to say, like, at this moment, like, the intention that you have is contrary to what the planets Pluto and Venus would have you do. Um, there is something that needs to be healed. It looks like your mind needs to be healed. Um, and if you're ignoring the signs, then take direction here. A little bit. What's going on underneath this deck? The hermit. That seems Cancerian. Hermit energy. Hermit crab. Going alone, looking and reflecting on your inner light here. That's a very healing thing to do. It looks like with the Queen of Cups, which is how to nurture your intention, that that deep dive into your emotional history is worth doing. You are afraid to connect with other people, even though that's a part of your dream. And until you look at your history of love and your broken heart and the way that you're terrified of hurting yourself and of hurting others. This has been interesting. It came up in the Taurus reading as well. But there, the, I often, often can see your fear of people hurting you. I think we're dealing with some fear of our own harmfulness. Right? So that we're afraid of how we hurt other people. And so you might, um, with this vibe of swords needing to be transformed and reflecting upon your history of broken hearts, it, it's almost think, making me think you're looking at your own history of breaking other people's hearts, of doing harm to other people. And the reason that you're afraid to venture out here, you know, a wolf and a bunny are not naturally safe together right the wolf can eat the bunny right so it's like you're afraid 
of your harmfulness. Uh, but it's standing in the way of you achieving this really beautiful, stable life full of abundance and love. And um, so what we, what we can return to is that the scar, the scar of the ones you've hurt, it is a scar that represents what they've learned from, they've grown from, right? So look for that. Look for evidence for direction of how to navigate the harms that you have committed or fear committing. Um, we're, I was talking to a guy the other day and he was all tied up in knots because he asked a woman on a date. <laughs> and then he was wondering, was he, were his motives good? Was people think that he was a player? Was he just, he wondered, he started being really anxious about whether he was operating under some kind of a toxic masculine impulse. He's just, and I was like, geez, man, you know, I support pleasure. You're two grown up people. Um, listen to no if you get no, but um, you're a beautiful person and this person would be lucky to get to know you. Um, I said something nice like that. And so I think there is a need to, instead of looking at your fear or angst about past harms, to look instead to, in relations with others, which I think both Venus and the sort of Cancerian moon cause us to think about our most nurturing and feminine and supportive capacity. And to really look and maybe even directly ask people around you about where the boundaries are, where the limits are. Um, yeah, so kind of in a way the hermit and the five of swords and the three of swords, they're making me, and this queen of cups, like this idea, you need to, de you need to examine your feelings, deep, dive deep into them. And this crab here with Cancer New Moon, it's, it's coming up to the surface too with hopefully some truth. Okay, let's clarify and see what the cards say. You know, they always know how to put it better than I do. I think it makes sense that collectively we're anxious about hurting others, about how dangerous we are to our planet, to, to each other, like that we have like a re really, we're really in touch with our violence, but we really aspire to, to love. And, and yet there just been like, we've just shed so many broken hearts. You know, there's so many high cost consequences. Trees will take years to regrow. And, um, and so it can feel very dangerous. The humanity is questioning, <laughs> but they're, I, I don't know if you've read Kimmerer's Braiding Sweetgrass. But she's talking, she talks about how one of the problems that we need to heal, the things that we need to heal, is that we don't, we actually don't believe that we can have um, a healthy relationship with our planet. Um, and so I feel like there's something like that going on here. Remember how to be, and the, and the hermit causes us to think about reflect, remembering. Um, because a hermit in the traditional tarot deck holds a light and reflects upon the past, looking backwards down a timeline. So we need to remember. And like, there can be like this purist thing of like, oh, I've never been hurt and I'm better for it. But in my experience, recovering from hurt, it makes me more compassionate. It makes me have better access to um, to my heart because I can, um, my watch is talking to me there, sorry. Um, yeah, so like the scar of this snake, I think this is really important. Like the snake speaks of that Pluto transformative thing. Like if you don't get cut, if you just go through the world unscathed, you're kind of, well, you're lucky but you might be um, ignorant. And so to reframe things as you, as you look upon them and to see a scar not 
That's something that you're ashamed of, that perhaps you gave somebody, you hurt somebody, um, you had to hurt somebody, something like that. You broke somebody's heart, for example, because it just wasn't right. Um, they're going to learn from this. They're going to be better for it. And dishonesty, uh, which is what one of the things the Five of Swords can be about, is that you, you don't tell the truth so that you can get some other outcome. Um, you could, you know, it's a deceitful way of winning, right? So dishonesty can be, um, I don't know, I'm just going on for quite a while. So let's clarify. All right, this is your intention. The abundance, the security, the family, the four of wands, the true love, that big freezer full of beef, <laughs> whatever, okay? Wealth, security. So there's that dishonesty directly right there. Seven of swords, theft, dishonesty. Um, that's interesting to be have that in your intention. Wow, there's the grief. Hmm. And there is some young, new, airy clarity, open-mindedness of the how. Huh. So we see you. Your intention is you're healing. We are healing collectively. So what are you healing? Um, you're really looking at it. Right? You're looking at it like this, like, okay, I've gotten a hold of the truth. There's light. That's sort of an optimism. There's a, a young energy about the way that you're looking. It's sort of, it's very different. Underlying this card is like dishonesty, secrecy, theft, grief. And then looking at that so we can see the shift from little fox hiding the sword to the little owl holding that sword right so in your your intention here in this season the six month season here after this cancer new moon it looks like you're you have a secret you're healing it you're grieving it it's yours you're very private about it and and then you become open about it your ultimate goal is this king of pentacles thing like you want everything that the king of pentacles represents you want to be that you want to, i mean that guy is a he's a little boring i always want to say but he's a good guy that's just me kind of like disavowing the way that i'm a little bit steadfast and boring and fixed in all my four corners of my chart like um that, that's just my discomfort with that. Like, so if you're, if you totally embrace your Taurus, um, responsible self, like, don't let me insult you. Um, I have that too. I just, um, yeah, you want that, but in, you have the intention of privately grieving and then sort of taking hold of that truth, whatever truth you must face before you can have that. That's interesting. Okay, so your fear is the fool. I am I was saying it's a fear of hurting others, taking a leap of faith, whatever. Oh yeah, so on the bottom there for what we just saw was death. Um, there's that Pluto transformative energy. It's like you're transforming this grief into a truth that you can build on. Okay, the fool, this is your fear. A little anxiety and insomnia, which is an excellent representation of a sleepless night. I had one last night myself. <laughs> You're very anxious about being the fool. What else? Hmm, lots of fantasies, illusions. It, it suggests you're not really seeing things accurately and you have a different choice so you, for how you can look at things. And there's a very Cancerian Six of Cups energy. It's inner child work. It's soulmate connection. It's undefended love. Um, mm, you are rooted. You grow from beautiful, you have beautiful roots that you can see as well. So if you're focusing on the negative, um, oh, I'm really seeing 
as I look at these, I'm really seeing how the ice breaking and the roots here are mirroring each other. So if you, the Hermit and now the Six of Cups, like this is about looking at your past um, in order to correct what is an illusion that's causing you anxiety. And the illusion is that you're dangerous and the Six of Cups says, undefended love, go for that. You're capable of it. Okay, let's find out more about that. How to nurture your intention. The Queen of Cups also leads me to think about you being emotionally capable and, and deep. And coming up to the surface from the dark waters of you can, can maybe be bring a little lightness here. The Daughter of Swords and the Six of Cups, they're, they're childlike energies. And, they, and they, they suggest and encourage lightness. Okay, here's another way of looking at the past. Oh my God, nothing ever works out. Oh, hum, been there, done that. There's your Mother of Cups again on the table. She is offering this rat a cup. It's like this. She's like, here, have this love. And this one's like, ugh, it never works out. Why bother? It's very much. Um, so the Queen of Cups, that's your advice. So get her here twice in two ways. And then there's a Ten of Pentacles. This goes with your King of Pentacles fantasy abundance. It's like very Venus, there's plenty, there's luxury, there's love here. Mother of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, being offered to somebody who doesn't believe in it, who fears in it. It never happens, it's never worked out. I'm not even going to try. That, that's a kind of energy that's, that's here. And it's in the, I've seen it in, especially the Taurus card I'm reading I just gave. It's a lot of fear of yourself and how you always screw shit up. And you're wrong about it. That's what the Seven of Cups here over the Six of Cups tells me. Um, Relook at your story about yourself. Okay, so this is a part of your Pluto is demanding that you transform this idea that you win, that you're bad, destructive, dangerous. It's like a... Um, it's like you're kind of exaggerating your power. Is that, That's what I, I see here. It's like, bring it down to this. This is light. Just hold on to the simple truth. Not this thing that you made in your head. Right? We, we can all do that. That's what this is. This is a thing you made in your head. You, you obsess about this and you can't leave it behind. Here. Okay, Five of Swords. Well, I'm getting quite assertive here. Daughter of Pentacles. Beautiful. More young energy. Hopeful. There's that deer that we see here. Or, a, you know, a sibling of this deer. And there's this justice and this um, earthy groundedness. It's a beautiful, again, young inner child. Oh, there's justice on the bottom here. Okay. There's your Three of Swords again. Your mind is hurting your heart. What else? And you feel trapped in that. Like your mind is what's got you trapped. You, you're a butterfly. You can fly out of there. But you're thinking about all those, all the prickly little thoughts that keep you from risking opening up your wings and flying. Hmm. Yeah, this just shows, again, it reiterates what Pluto demands be transformed. You are this beautiful daughter of pentacles. You're trapped in your mind. Your mind is literally hurting your heart. Um, your mind says, don't. Watch out. Stop. Stay in your cocoon. Stay in your little shell, right? It's this very Cancerian, lower tendency of Cancerian people is to just, I mean, I'm all in favor of getting some alone time. I need a lot of alone time, but you know, this um, retreat, this, yeah, 
you are literally being asked to emotionally overcome your worst stories about yourself, whoever you are. I can relate. I'm like waking up in the night. This is my nights. <laughs> I'm like, I feel pretty okay in the day, but in the night, it's just like, I don't even, I feel like the world has been revised. That, that Pluto feeling, like, I just feel like I don't really even know what it means to be me, to be, um, to be successful. I don't, I'm very afraid of human people. Like I've had a lot of people hurt me and I've had to hurt people recently. And it's just like, um, this reading, I relate to this. There's this other feeling though that I have that the cards are kind of like going, hey, you know, that's over dramatic, Heather. <laughs> you're, you're being over dramatic and you're exaggerating six, seven of cups. You're exaggerating the danger that you that you are. You're really kind of the sweet wolf that wants to play with a bunny rabbit, right? You can control your violence. Okay, so let's see here. This is how to answer the call. There's a calling here. I just put on my, when I mapped out this reading, I was like, this is the call. It's a three of swords. Let's find out more. Look at the signs. A scar is the sign of healing. What else? There's your thoughts. Put those thoughts down. Walk towards that rainbow. Towards justice. It's like this. This is true. This says, it's trying to move your mind. Old paradigms, old stories, let them go. Walk towards that. The destiny is really beautiful. It's here. You know, it's it's lighting her, her mind up. It's what you're rooted in. This suggests a need to reframe your sense of who you are. There's been a lot of work put into something, waiting for it to bear fruit, a seven of pentacles. What else? Son of wands. It's a really quick, fiery energy. This makes me think about the North Node in Aries. Beginnings, that fiery spark to begin something new, that fool energy. Hmm. It's um, going to take some time to answer this call. It's like you have to move some distance. So there's a kind of contradiction then that comes in with this Son of Wands energy, um, a kind of, it's like you, I keep getting this feeling that, that there's a spark that people are getting. It's like a spark of insight, ah, uh, but then you actually have to do some work. So in my story, right, like, so I'm, I woke up in the middle of the night, I'm like, I can't keep waking up like this. I need some help, you know, I need to do some work so I don't, when I go to bed, I feel peaceful, but I don't really know what kind of work to do, right? So I'm like, I'm willing, I'm willing to put down my old ideas and walk towards this rainbow. I'm willing to put work in. Um, I want to heal this. I definitely want to heal this. I don't want to live like this. I don't want, I want to be whatever flew out of these chains and just left a feather. I want, I want to be free of this three of swords feeling. Whatever that, that is for you is like fear of being hurt, fear, fear of hurting others. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> The bottom of the deck collective is so gorgeous. I'm going to show it to you. Okay. <laughs> the lovers. I feel like this is so very much about who you fly with. That optimism. There's a wheel of fortune. There's a turn. There's a change. Big. We can feel that. Feel that. 
I feel I always I'm an optimist. I see it in your favor because when, then I see temperance. That's that tempering takes time. Alchemizing is beautiful. Lots of birds here. And then we get our justice again. Little cats conspiring. They've got the earth in their tails. They've got all the rainbow flag, trans flag colors around them. Sword of truth. There's something here about seeing things accurately when you've been seeing them inaccurately. And specifically, I believe that's you. Um, and then we get the moon. So the new moon in Cancer. But it's also about a moon journey. It's, it is about, right, this deep dive into your feelings and then coming back up to the surface with what you learn there. Um, hmm. So this is big. This is a, I heard this was a big new moon. I'm, I was, I uh, wanted to look at this. Um, I'm not as, um, you know, I'm a Scorpio. So like, I love cancer people. And then, and then cancer people kind of like confuse me a little bit. Um, so the, the sort of nurturing, but also the abandoning thing about cancering people. It's like, it feels really, really, um, shocking that when they go in their shell and, um, it's confusing. Uh, so like that, the moon speaks to me of, of that, of like, and the hermit is here, the queen of cups diving deep. There is like lots of secrets and um, secret anxiety, secret grief, secret illusions, secret despair, feeling trapped. It feels like this really isolated feeling here. Um, and and then there's this aspiration of this king of pentacles. And, and, and I see this too, like there, that's about, the king of pentacles has the, um, in this deck, the Four of Wands has the same bird in it. Let me see if I can quickly um, show that to you. Uh, I'm going to stubbornly look through this until I find that. <laughs> yeah, it just feels, and I felt this, I saw this with the Taurus. It's like this yearning to have something that you're afraid to have. And... Um, and the, the reason why you're afraid to have it, yeah. So there's a four of wands. Four of wands is a soulmate card. And then and we so we can see that there's that bird right there. You know, like that's a part of this vision, this intention. This is a big intention. It's a very beautiful, earthly, um, 3D community, abundance. Um, soulmate connection is in there with that bird for me and those and those lotus flowers um, so this if this is your intention the cards say and the lovers say that's a part of your intention like in order to do that you must uh, the wheel of fortune will turn you will be able to temper um, your emotional you're going to find the right emotional mix it tells it, the justice card it says to me like you need to be just towards yourself, but also towards others. So if you're dealing with a fear of harming others or that you are harmful of others and you need to stop that, you need to quit breaking hearts, um, that's a bringing of justice. But you might also be like, in some ways what came through in this reading is that you're mischaracterizing yourself. You think you have way more power and that you're way worse than you are, and so you need to be just towards yourself. Um, and there's a clear sense that this is a project that's going to take some time here. It's going to take some healing time. It's going to take going in like the hermit, or there's some alone time here into your feelings, a moon journey, where you look at yourself, you do your inner child work, Something like that. You're doing something where you redeem yourself from this idea of yourself, right? Like, see yourself accurately. And when you see yourself accurately, 
you just have so much beauty to bring to the world. And that's actually your intention. That King of Pentacles with the lovers, it's your intention. Um, it's a great intention. And don't beat up on yourself, okay? Like, you all, you're already beautiful. And if you're hurt, if you're, you've been hurtful, you can, you can amend that. You can change your behavior going forward. If you've been hurt, you can heal that. And the, and the scar makes you better. It doesn't make you damaged goods. It makes you better. It makes you have more, um, like you've been through something. And so you can be present for others who have been through something. So that's what this is about. That's what this new moon in cancer is about and um it's i love how it it reiterates some of what i saw in my readings for the um thick signs that i just did for taurus leo scorpio and aquarius there is some inner work that people need to do and it's looking like the point of that inner work is so that you can show up and be a part of a collective that is healthier um, in which you bring your best self to it instead of your fearful lower self, right? The one that retreats, abandons, um, really from good intentions. Um, so I think at this point, I'm just repeating myself. And um, this is hard work. It will take time. And um, we will be checking in on it as we keep reading cards going ahead. Okay, have a beautiful day, my friends.